Hello and welcome to Better With Mods uh, Mod Spotlight. Um, the first thing you want to do is make the hand crank, which is made with wooden gears. It's a pretty basic recipe, just like the Billcraft one. Uh, you've got some leather in the millstone. The millstone, uh, incidentally, is made, again, very simply. Uh, just do this a few times with the leather in there. Actually, I think one just came out. There we go. So we've got a scoured leather. Um, there's also a crop uh, hemp. You can put this in here as well. I think it's probably still on the... Uh, oh no. Get some hemp fibers out of that. They're pretty important things to get. Now if you break a, a log without the right tool you do get some things such as the the bark and the sawdust so we've got some bark and we've got some sawdust there let's do uh, let's do one more actually okay so then if we put the um oh, i've got a bit more put bark there with some scoured leather we're going to get tanned leather this is all important for like crafting components later on uh, let me just get rid of this I'm not even sure. Oh yeah, they don't actually break anything. Let me just get an axe, just quickly get rid of this. Okay, so after that, you want to actually start generating a little bit of power. Um, so you need to get a cauldron. Cauldron is a very basic recipe. So just um, yeah. Oh yeah. Sorry. Yeah. I guess that's actually before. You have to get a cauldron and obviously lay out like that. So then we also have uh, axle which is made from hemp fibers and the gearbox which you need a redstone latch for uh, and yeah it will stop actually stop working uh, let's look at the gearbox very briefly um, so the gearbox change face one it'll input five outputs basically that's how it works uh, so yeah that's what the gearbox looks like then uh, let me just go. I may as I don't know really why I'm in, not in the creative. Um, just, just, so yeah. So then basically you need to get a windmill and you put uh, you get a gearbox, you put an axle, and then you put the windmill on top of it. Um, and just to, and yeah. And like I did, I, I think I kind of the windmill is kind of uh, it's just made with these things, which is just the uh, hemp cloth, which is just hemp fibers. Windmill is just like that, right? Okay, so. Let's just uh, let's just go to creative just to try to. Um, it'll just be a bit easier from this position. So yeah, so you can see that that's rotating, and we've got a gearbox there. So say we've got some more axles. Obviously, you need to use a lot of axles here. So let's get more. Okay, so if you don't notice uh, this, we got one, two. Uh, yeah, if you try and do it vertically, that it won't work. So one, two, th uh, three. But if we try and do a fourth, it pops off. So what we can do here is, for instance, we could do this. Then we could rotate. Okay, and then what we can do is if we put an axle coming out of this, you can see it's actually going to be able to go from horizontal to vertical like that. And then we could, I think, uh, yeah, you could put like uh, put millstone in there, start processing the stuff or whatever. Uh, another thing that you can do is uh, with the saw. So you've got the saw. Um, so for that, you need a little bit of. Uh, this is why um, this is why I did the thing with tan leather in the beginning, basically to make the saw. Uh, so yeah, you can see that's just churning it out much faster. Um, so yeah, so let's try putting uh, some wooden planks in front of the saw and see what happens. Okay, so there we've got some oak wood sidings. Uh, so yeah, oak wood sidings. So that's basically the only way to get this stuff. Um, and there's, yeah, you get various different oak wood sidings and you can actually put, you can basically, yeah, get lots of different stuff out of this. Um, 
It's also got a nice recipe for logs from the looks of it. So yeah, very similar, yeah. So yeah, pretty cool the saw. But yeah, you have to have these oak wood sidings so, uh, there's no uh, there's no way around that. Um, because they're used for stuff like making the bellows uh, and various different things, the field hopper screw pump. And like you can start to see that there's they basically open the door for uh, the next stage of the mod, which we're going to go to now. Okay, so next what we want to do is we want to put a nether rack into the millstone to get some ground nether rack. Okay, so yeah, so once you've got the ground nether rack, you can also get this thing, the filters hopper, um, which is uh, from the corners. So remember that when you use the saw, it goes from the siding to the uh, uh, to the molding uh, and then to the corners when you saw it up into gradually smaller pieces. Uh, you can see there, the moulding corners. Uh, you can see, you can see the um, how it goes in the saw. Um, so when you've got the grounded nether rack out of the millstone, you just put some soul sand in here, and then if you simply throw it, you don't need to uh, power it with anything. You simply throw it in, and that is actually going to give you this hellfire dust. Um, now, hellfire dust um, you can put in, and you can make concentrated hellfire. Here we are. Uh, now with the concentrated hellfire, you'll need a heating element, which is simply uh, a few things in the cauldron, uh, and that will get you the heating element, and then that will let you to get these hibachi. Um, so with hibachi, you need to, um, you basically place them down and then they'll have fire. Now here you can see the fire is actually blue. Normally with the hibachi, it's actually um, not blue it's just normal fire but you have to get this for to get stoked fire which is kind of like uh, one of the fundamental things in this mod so yeah there is that um, now the most important thing to realize uh, and obviously I've done it I've done a little bit of setup here um, is that you need to get this thing the turntable the turntable is, is basically the access to a large amount of it. it's very simple to make um, but it's got like quite a few different uh, features. So for instance, if we look at what's um, going on here, you can see, uh, yeah, for instance, if we look, if we just take this one, if I right click this with an empty hand, you can see this is basically altering the speed at which it's emitting a pulse. What I've, what I've done here, uh, if I just try and explain the system here, is basically the power is obviously coming in from the windmill. And if we look at what's actually going on here, we can see that it's stopping, and that thing is rotating. Basically, it's, it's just the timer. I mean, I could, you could, you can just use a normal timer, but obviously, this is actually with the mod, and it's the way you're supposed to do it. So I thought I'd do it this way. Um, but yeah, you can see I put it on the third setting there out of four. So that's made a fairly slow timing. What that does is it, exp it, um, it, it retracts and expands the bellows, um, like so. Um, and that is what the bellows needs to be able to turn the fire, and it works in a three by three area. Um, yeah, I think I'm not sure the timing's perfect. You see, it, it, it did turn. It does, it does turn a little bit. But it's, it's pretty. It's it's close to perfect, though. I think. So I mean, it's good. I mean, it works. So that's what you need to do. Okay, so you've got that. Um, now you can put um, you can put the uh, cauldron on top of it, uh, and that will let you do stuff with the stoked cauldron. And yeah, that's pretty cool. So yeah, if you get the cauldron, um, you can then get uh, uh, the stoked cauldron. I think that's used for stuff like glue, I believe. Yes. So if we look at, um, so you can see that various things in the cauldron uh, should get, in the stoked cauldron, should get glue. You can also make uh, potash, various things, tallow, uh, various things for dynamite and stuff like that. Um, but, and I will do that in a second. Um, but also there's this thing like it's um, you can basically get this thing like crucible uh, urn you can get a vase you can get a um, what was the last one crucible urn vase and planter that's it so there's four of them and they're basically again we use the um, we use the other well I mean yeah it, the thing about the turntables it, it affects what's going on it rotates the block by 90 degrees each time right so that's why you can do the timer setup but you can also do this setup with the, um, uh, you basically, basically just get clay blocks and you see I've got a very fast setup here 
this is the fastest one on number one. So what you're going to see is it's actually going to rotate through the thing. So there we've got the uh, the crucible, and then it goes to the planter, and it sees it's, and you see it's, it's uh, it's, it's it, you know uh, kicking out the clay there, and then we go all the basically. So you get all those sort of things, right? Okay. So you get all these unfired things. You get the unfired. I mean, what you'd actually get is you would get these these four, right? Planter, the urn, and the vase. So you get all these things, but obviously they're unfired, so it's not going to work. So what you then need to do is using just regular bricks, um, you make the the kiln. And I looked up the kiln, and this was the basic, the, the simplest setup for the kiln. You just have these eight blocks here, and then you have the one sort of backing block sort of thing. So then, if I put in well any of these actually, the uh, Where's the crucible? And you can see that the uh, the stoked flames are are cooking the uh, stuff in the crucible. You probably don't want to stand on that there because it's obviously moving. And you see, once it's uh, done its thing, you actually get the uh, regular crucible. And obviously, that's exactly the same with all the different stuff. Um, so yeah, now one thing, uh, another thing to mention is we look at the Hellfire stuff. This is actually integrated with the new Tinkers, which has got, uh, um, which has got you know the, uh, the the interoperability with it, right? So you can see I've got this Soulforged, Soulforged Steel Axe. So Soulforged, right? So you can actually just make regular stuff with it, but you can also use it. And the advantage of this is actually got mending on it, which is obviously super powerful. Um, so that's good. Um, but yeah, you do need to get these soulforged steel ingots, and fortunately, they require the they require the crucible. So if we look at certain recipes, we can see that this is one of the recipes we might want to use. So we're going to want to use a. Um, uh, so we need to get a soul urn, and we need to we've got coal dust. The soul flux is going to be ender slag, and then we're going to get brimstone. So that is just going to be endstone in the kiln. So you can see that everything is sort of like all the recipes are basically exactly what I've done there. So I'm not going to like go through all the different recipes. Um, there are like the only thing, um, but yeah, they, I mean that's the thing. There's, there's various different things you can do with the mod, um, and I may I may go through some of the uh, the stuff of the planter and stuff. Um, there's a couple more things I would probably go through. Um, yeah, you can see there's lots of interesting stuff uh, added to the mod. But yeah, the Soulforged Steel Ingots. Let's just um, briefly touch on that. Um, and yeah, basically what you need to do is you get a, you cook up the urn. And like I say, like um, with the, um, you see, you would just, you would literally just put for instance, I've got some space here anyway, so I could just, um, where would I want it to be? I'm not sure. Hmm. I think you do need a little bit of a gap. Oh, well, they're all going the wrong color now. There we go. But yeah, it, it does work all right. So yeah, if, um, I guess I guess it was because um, hmm, it does actually use some stuff up. But yeah, you can just cook them in the, uh, the crucible or the cauldron. Um, yeah, the, the final thing to do though was to actually show the um, this. That's right. I'm trying to remember just what I wanted to show here, um, and that was if we put the we put a regular urn underneath. The, yeah, this is how to get the uh, soul urn. That's what I wanted to show. You. So yeah, I believe the uh, the hellfire dust. I think it's uh, hellfire dust in it. Let's have a look. Um, it may be ground up nether egg. It's hard to tell because unfortunately I haven't got like a. Um, I think it is ground nether egg now. I think about it. Let's just check that. Hmm. It's not really telling me much. There we go. So there is the soul urn, right? Um, yeah, it was ground in the wreck. And yeah, and then from there, it's literally just a case of um, creating the other ingredients, and then you can get the soul forge steel. Um, yeah, so I may look at some other things. Like there's interesting stuff, like there's uh, dynamite. 
um, again with blasting oil. Blasting oil is from tallow and hellfire dust. Tallow again in the sto stoke cauldron. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to remember if it's one block or two blocks above here um, where I can put the stuff. Honestly, I'm not going to check it now because it will just it will just waste more time in the video. But I think that is going to do it for now. So like I said, pretty cool stuff, and there'll be more stuff, and I may do more videos on this later on. The pulley. And there is also the platform as well. That was one thing I didn't get to. That may be very, very interesting, actually. Um, yeah, the pulley and the platform is pretty... Yeah, that could be a big deal, actually. That may be a big deal. Um, as opposed to... Yeah, I do have some power going through here. I'm curious to see. I think this is like... Um, you know, like the tunnel ball machine stuff. So what if I did... Um, what if I just got rid of this for now and we had the pulley uh, looking at the I assume it's just hmm can we put the platforms anywhere so look interesting hmm yeah I think I'm gonna that's gonna probably do it for now though but yeah there's lots more to see in this mod definitely um, and I will definitely return to it. So thanks for watching.